Good evening. Welcome to my garden. Uh, tonight we're going to look at this cherry tomato. It's a volunteer here at the edge of our compost pile. Uh, everybody needs a little compost pile. Uh, this little compost pile I've got here, we'll take a quick gander at it here. Uh, Furnish me with about enough compost for my garden. Uh, right here. Uh, this is the standard uh, four foot snow fence. I'll give you some reference to how big the pile is. When I make a pile, I'll use this pile next year and I'll start a new pile next to it and that gives us a compost. But here we have our cherry tomato. And uh, it has been, something's been feeding on this, volunteer plant. Uh, got a lot of cherry tomatoes off of it, uh, more than I need off of one plant. And as you can see, it's uh, A rather nice sized plant uh, coming out of this compost heap it's got all kinds of nutrients uh, but it's been something's been feeding on it and uh, look around and we find this guy a tomato hornworm uh, and we can see that this guy has also been fed upon all the, we see all the little uh, cocoons on it. Those are from a parasitic wasp. Uh, the adult has laid eggs on this uh, hornworm. The larva have fed on the hornworm. And this hornworm is done. Uh, normally on a hornworm, if I see one, I'll squish him. Uh, but this one I'm going to leave because we'll have adult wasps in next spring and they will prey on some of our uh, cabbage worms and uh, tomato hornworms and other caterpillars and uh, as a matter of fact over here we have a second one also well covered with our parasitic wasp uh, good way to get some organic pest control is the Leave these parasitic wasps do some of the work for us. Y'all have a good evening and keep growing.